Hello folks, in this video we're going to cover how to request access to property link from the MeasureSquare website, how to set up your corporation initially, and a general overview of the UI. So from MeasureSquare.com, scroll all the way down to the bottom and select property link. I'll also add this link into the video description. Then from here, just select request a trial and there'll be a simple form for you to fill out. Please, please fill out every uh, section in here, including your company description, so we have a better idea of what you're trying to accomplish. You know, if you are a uh, flooring uh, contractor and you're looking to allow uh, vendors to place orders, or if you are a property management company, for example. So go ahead, fill this out, select contact me for information on property link down here, and we will then send you the credentials in order to uh, sign in for the first time, which will then walk you through how to set up your corporation, which will be our next step. So corp name, you know, it's just your company name. So I'll say Jim's Floors for now. And this is essentially the main part you really need to fill out. Um, you can add in your address in here as well. Uh, you can add a cover image as well um, of your company. So you have your logo. Uh, and then again, you can always go back and edit this after, and then the rest of the stuff we can just leave alone. So keep this simple, hit save. And now you'll be prompted at the uh, main screen. So it will uh, launch you into the uh, quote unquote property view. So the main navigation is on the left side over here. So I'm on the properties. Um, and then going down the line, we have management companies, pricing contracts, database, orders, quotes, and menus. Uh, the menu on the left side is customizable. So this is the default one. Um, in later videos, we will go over how you can customize what you see on that menu. Um, also, depending who is logging in, um, we can uh, adjust what they see. And you can actually rename some of the uh, terminologies on the left side if it doesn't line up exactly with your uh, business model. As far as the hierarchy goes, um, you can think of management company at the highest. Uh, but it is not required that you attach a property to a management company, but below a management company is the properties where you'll be in the most. So from here, we will create a property and then we will import our measure square diagrams from the cloud. And then we can take in all those diagrams and then organize them to match how it is set up in real life. Um, so going down the line, the next important part is our database and pricing contracts. So our database and pricing contracts, if you're familiar with Measure Square, as far as the hierarchy goes, database is your master catalog, essentially. And you can import this from the Measure Square cloud. Um, if you happen to have your own uh, online system or some development resources, you'll also be able to import your own database outside the Measure Square into here. Uh, pricing contract is a tier below um, the database. So you know, parent-child relationship. Pricing contracts are similar to the assignment or project items tab in Measure Square. So, you know, you have your master catalog, which is our database here, and then pricing catalog is going to be comprised, um, in some cases, of, all, of some products from the database. Um, but you can also import a quote unquote database um, from Measure Square's cloud into here as a pricing contract. So, um, pricing contract is a uh, a term that you can change as well. So they're price cards or whatever it may be. But essentially the purpose of a pricing contract as we have it labeled here is that we can attach a price contract to a property specifically. So you may have the same Shaw product in your master database, but different properties have a different price point. Maybe you, someone got to cut a deal 10 years ago. Someone has a different deal today. Um, it's the same product, everything else is the same, but the pricing is different. So you can have that same product in two different pricing contracts with two different prices, and then they're associated to two different properties, but they theoretically came from the same product from the product database. So essentially a pricing contract can be attached individually to a property and be standalone. So if you change, a, one, if you change that product in one pricing contract, it does not change the other. Um, so that is great so if you, when we only want to show a property manager what's available to them to place an order we can easily do that through the pricing contract um, as we create orders and quotes we will see those down here as well so we have orders and quotes 
And then as an admin, as we're signed in right now, we have our menu system. We'll get deeper into this in a different video, but this is where some of the links that are hidden are easily available. So if I need to create a new user, create a role, create a new branch, you know, so obviously we're, we may have branch systems depending on the company, you know, Southwest region, um, district, and then a store, we can easily support that branch structure that we're all familiar with. So this is just a general overview of where everything is. In the next video, we'll cover how to create a user, go a little bit into roles and permissions, and then we'll eventually go through creating a catalog, creating a price card, creating a property, attaching the um, uh, diagrams to those properties and so on. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more great content like this. Thank you and happy measuring.